very <laughs> cute. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the look the forecast. Guys, I wanted to update you on the records that we broke yesterday. Clayton, 102 degrees yesterday afternoon. Beat the old record by a degree. Las Vegas tied that record at 93 yesterday. Portales, 106 yesterday afternoon. And that beats that 104 record set way back in 1954. Now, Roswell, 110 yesterday. You have not seen cool temperatures at all in July. You've been 100 plus since the first of the month. So unfortunately, we're still talking hot temperatures again today, but we look to see a slight pattern change here by the end of the week and more so next week. So let's start with the current temperatures across the state. Triple digits already over the southeast. 80s up in the northern mountains, 86 in Farmington. You'll find more of those 90s at along I-25 to the south. The difference between right now and 24 hours ago, you can see the cool off that across the northeastern plains get a weak front moving and it won't really do a whole lot except cool us down for a day. We'll get right back to those warmer temperatures tomorrow, but we're about a degree cooler here in the metro area. Hourly forecast as we get into the later part of this afternoon, likely to top out near 99 once again, very similar to yesterday with the sunshine overhead, even eventually falling down to the 80s and then the 70s. So by the numbers, it is going to be another above average day, but at least we're not talking triple digits here in the metro southeastern plains east central areas i know it's brutal once again looking at 107 108 in and around chavez county even east central areas getting in on some of those toasty numbers have to head into the higher train if you want some of the cooler numbers in the 80s up in the northern mountains heat advisory is up for east central and southeastern new mexico that's the area in orange here but overall, we got nothing but dry conditions and a little bit of a westerly wind today at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So setup is quiet today. We'll see the same kind of thing as we get into our Wednesday. But that slight change that I'm talking about, that kicks in Thursday with the stronger cold front moving in out of nor the northeast. And as this moves in, it'll help trigger a few spot storms. It will also cool us down. And the eastern plains really needs that cool up. That will take into effect Thursday into Friday. Albuquerque not looking at a huge dip in the numbers, but we will see some wind Thursday night. So let's take this a little closer to home. Southern Colorado sunshine overhead with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Today we actually get warmer heading into the next couple of days with Durango in the 90s by Thursday. Northwest sunny and hot today, upper 80s to mid 90s. Farmington at 93 today we will be closer to 100 by Thursday, Friday. Southwest lots of sunshine overhead and very hot 90s to triple digits today. 103 in Deming, Las Cruces about the same, and you'll stay 100 or better for the next six to seven afternoons. Southeastern Plains, hottest temps on the map today found in your area. 107 expected in Roswell, 104 in Lovington with sunshine overhead. Northeastern Plains, sunny and hot, although not quite as hot as yesterday. High temps in the mid to upper 90s. Northern Mountains, mostly sunny with 76 in Red River. Española at 96. Santa Fe in the low 90s today through the weekend. East Mountains, mostly sunny and hot, to upper 80s to mid 90s. We'll actually get just a couple degrees warmer over the next two afternoons. Metro, mostly sunny with temperatures topping out in the upper 90s to low triple digits across the valley. And that seven day forecast shows temperatures really not doing a whole lot. We'll stay in the upper 90s with the sunshine overhead. Looking at a little bit more of a monsoonal setup by early next week. So there was hope there, but until then, it's just hot and dry. Okay, thanks, Kristen. Mm -hmm. Pet of the week is next.